Yeah, I woke up like this. Oh, hot. Hey, how's it going everybody? Thank you so much for clicking on this video and excuse the uh, the lack of environment behind me and the, the kind of messy look today. So this is a Wednesday in August uh, 2019. I just got back from the gym and it is uh, 12 after 12 p.m. Not, not in the morning. That would be awful. I just wanted to talk about my my day so far as it relates to like um um this is day three of intermittent fasting intermittent that's a hard word for me to say i want to talk about what i've been doing so far today as far as food and then my workout and what my plans are for the rest of the day um just because i want to start chronicling the things that i am doing to lose weight rather than like hindsight kind of things because I mean this is an experiment. I'm I'm I don't know what's gonna work for me, so I'm trying different things out. Um, I have had a lot of failures in the past, so uh, maybe this will be different. Um, and and I'm gonna see how things go. So I'm gonna tell you everything that I've been doing so far today. So I can tell you right now I've had 48 ounces of water so far today. Um, that is not including a protein shake I had a little bit ago. I'll talk about that in a minute. But 48 ounces of water, half of that was before I went to the gym. Half of it was um, during and directly after my workout. So 48 ounces. I'm feeling pretty good. I probably could have had a little bit more water um, before getting to the gym. Maybe a little bit during, but I sometimes feel a little nauseous if I'm drinking too much water while I'm working out. So there it is. The only other thing I had before the gym today was 20 ounces of black coffee, um, and, and that's pretty much it. So there was no real calories with that. Um, any calories I did have are very minimal because I don't use creamer, anything like that. No sugar, nothing, plain black. So I've been trying to break up my workouts right now. Um, just doing weightlifting and a little bit of cardio. Um, I haven't been to nine round for a few weeks. Um, because of, uh, the, the period I went through and I felt like I got really out of, um, out of just the condition that I really feel like I need to be in to go back. Um, because I'm very prone to injury and I'm very prone to overdoing it. So I want to get my muscles conditioned for at least another week or two, as well as my breathing to get back into it. So in a week or so, I will be back at nine rounds on top of doing what I'm doing now. Um, without trying to overdo it. So Monday I did upper back, biceps, shoulders. Yesterday, which was Tuesday, I did traps and chest. Both of those days I also ran on the elliptical for 15 minutes, um, actually doing hit cardio. Uh, so I basically, uh, for the first couple of minutes, um, I just went at a little bit of a faster pace and then every other minute was kind of like a slow jog. Uh, versus as fast as I could go on the elliptical without falling off and looking like a complete douche. I mean, you guys have seen those videos of someone on the elliptical that's just like, <laughs> yeah, that, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. So today's workout was all about leg day. That's why I uh, take it easy on the other days that I'm um, doing the elliptical and stuff. I don't want to go too long and wear my legs out. So I did a few of the machines. Um, first of all, working with my hips um, because I do have some hip issues. And what I mean by that is my pelvis is like tilted a little bit like that. So uh, a lot of lower back problems, things like that. Um, so working on my hip flexors is really helpful. Did the machines where it starts like this and then you uh, go out. And then the other one where you're already out and you go in with like weight. I don't remember what those are called. <laughs> so I'm sorry. This is a brain fart right now. I did three sets of 10 for leg press, squats, um, calf raises and deadlifts, followed by about 10 minutes or so of stretching, um, which is really, really important for me. Um, like I said earlier, I'm very prone to injury, so I'm, I'm trying to make more effort to stretch and also not overstretch because I think that's a big problem that I have had. All right, post-workout meal. First thing I had was a Spartan protein shake, um, and I used, instead of just eight ounces of water on there, I used 
20 ounces of water, um, which really waters it down, but the flavor on the one that I had is just so good and uh, added the extra water just so I would be more hydrated. In the next hour or so, I'm going to have about a serving and a half of roasted Brussels sprouts. I'm also going to have a DNX bar, the specific one I'm going to have, the uncured bacon and jalapeno bar with beef. Um, it's also got some really good nutritional value, 140 calories, 9 grams of fat, 1 carb, 14 grams of protein. That's all I'm going to have for lunch. And I know that it isn't enough, but there's a reason for that. That is because uh, tonight I'm going to visit um, my family and some family friends that I'm really excited to see because I haven't seen them for a long time. And... Um, we're gonna be having like a barbecue, a cookout. I don't know what they're gonna have. And so that's why I'm trying to stay really light on the calories uh, so far um, because I can't plan for what I don't know. So my fix for that is just keeping light and then I'll just have to make some smart decisions when I get there, you know, have more meat. Maybe if, if it's like barbecue sandwiches or something like that, maybe I just have the meat. I don't have the bun. That'll save me like 100, 150 calories right there. That is what my full day of eating is going to look like. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it helps. I do plan on drinking more water. I guess I can just say that I'll probably have another 48 ounces of water. And what I do is I just keep filling this guy up right here. Um, what's helpful is I have multiple of those and I can fill it up. I can put it in the fridge a little bit if uh, if I just really want some cold water because sometimes that's easier to drink than lukewarm water. I also drink a lot of sparkling uh, flavored water. Um, like this brand right here is the brand that's usually at our uh, grocery store for cheap, uh, Clarbrun. Um, also bubbly, LaCroix or LaCroix if you're fancy. Um, I drink a lot of those just to keep me from drinking soda and to keep water interesting because it can get really boring. And I'll try to keep these kind of videos regular so you can kind of see uh, what I'm doing and I can report back on how things are going. So hopefully in about a week I will give an update on my weight. Um, I don't expect any measurement difference yet, but we'll just kind of see how things have been progressing. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time. Keep on fighting.